No, it's recording. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let, let's get started. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to PG 34 Geomechanics. My name is uh, Nicolas Espinosa. I'm an assistant professor here in the department. I've been here for already uh, five years. Uh, my expertise is uh, geomechanics. I have been working in geomechanics uh, projects with uh, uh, several companies, including uh, ExxonMobil, uh, Statoil, Chevron, and some other companies, and uh, also with the Department of Energy uh, trying to devise uh, new methods to improve uh, hydrocarbon recovery uh, from my conventionals. Uh, including shales and some other types of uh, reservoirs. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, your instructor for the next three months in geomechanics. And I'd like to first to introduce the team that's going to be with you. So uh, it's going to be me. This is going to be Jeffrey uh, Luo, uh, who is a, a master's student. And uh, he's finishing his master and about to join Baker's, right? Yeah. Uh, He's going to help you with the laboratory part. And he, he knows everything as well, so if you have questions, please uh, ask uh, Jeffrey. And also, uh, Mohammed sitting in the back. Can, can you stand up, please, Mohammed, so everyone can see you? Uh, he's going to help you mostly uh, with the homework. So with the, with the three of us, uh, please uh, let us know if you need any help at any time. Uh, we'll be glad to help you. I have already set my office hours. Uh, you can see that somewhere over here in the syllabus. And the guys are going to, to find a, an office hour which is convenient for everyone uh, so, so you can talk to them. Uh, I'm not sure this office hour is good for you, 2, 3 p.m. on Monday and Wednesday. Maybe you have some other class. Just think about that, okay? You can let me know later if uh, we have to change that. Um, so, uh, before <coughs> starting with the contents, I'd like to more or less introduce the rules of the game, okay? So, so we are all on the, on the same page, and that's going to be basically uh, the syllabus. Um, here you can see uh, that we have lectures Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. This year I'm going to start something new. I'm going to try to lecture only Monday and Wednesday. And Friday, and Friday, no, not, not, it's too soon yet to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and Friday, we're going to have, uh, we're going to solve problems. Okay? okay? So I'm not going to be talking all the time, but mostly you're going you're to be working on your problem, bring your computer. Uh, we're going to be here to, to help you. But I'm going to, to try to speak less. Some people told me that I'm a little bit exhausted sometimes. <laughs> I also get exhausted, and uh, I, I have created some material that's going to help you uh, go through everything uh, without listening to me all the time. So we're going to try that. I don't know if next Friday we're going to do that, probably half of that, because we just got started. Uh, we have just a short homework to solve uh, on Friday. A very important part of this class is going to be also the laboratory. And that's what Jeffrey is going to be leading. Uh, make sure that you go to your times, to your laboratories. You must attend all the laboratories, OK? Um, you, you cannot miss it. If you miss it, there's a penalty somewhere over there, but it's, it's a harsh penalty. So do not miss uh, any lab. There are not too many. Um, I think there are scheduled about six. Uh, but there might be five, so, so just wait for that. There are not too many. You should attempt all of them. That's going to help you a lot uh, to understand uh, all the concepts of uh, geomechanics. At the time that you, you go to the laboratory, you will uh, also uh, find uh, group mates in order to work together uh, throughout the end of the semester. Uh, and those labs are going to start in about uh, two weeks from now, a little bit more. So for now, don't worry. Uh, at this time, you can do whatever you want. It's free. Uh, and uh, later on, we're going to have the last. Any 
Any questions so far? Uh, as, as I told you, I'm trying to speak less, and I, I, I'd like to have more an interactive uh, discussion with you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to, to interrupt. No? Uh, all right. So here you can read the course objectives. I'm not going to, to repeat them. But uh, what I, I'm going to tell you, and then I will follow up with a little more discussion, is that uh, geomechanics is very important. And I'm, I'm glad that I can get to teach uh, this course in the last semester of, of many of you, because now you have all the knowledge about reservoir geomechanics, about drilling, about petrophysics, which is very important <coughs> to understand and apply better geomechanics. Uh, Geomechanic service has been used for a long time, but just recently with hydraulic frac fracturing, uh, geomechanics has become very, very important. It's just now, thanks to hydraulic fracturing, that we are able to produce the amount of oil and gas that we are producing now, even uh, higher amounts than Russia and Saudi Arabia. And understanding geomechanics is gonna get you a long way into understanding the future also of petroleum mm -hmm. engineering. So uh, every minute you spend here uh, is gonna be very useful in the future uh, to understand uh, hydraulic fracturing and to understand how uh, completions are done today and what is driving the petroleum industry, especially in the United States. If you stay in the United States, very, very likely you're gonna deal with hydraulic fracturing. If you go somewhere else, uh, maybe not, but in the future at some time, I'm sure that, that you will do. So to me, one of the best, uh, or the main objective is that you learn to understand hydraulic fracturing, you learn to understand all the variables involved in it, and that uh, you are in a step forward uh, respect to many other programs that do not have a geomechanics class in petroleum engineering in order to get started uh, into what might be the future of petroleum engineering. Uh, in order to get there, uh, and in order to organize the class, uh, I have put uh, together a <coughs> set of notes uh, that are available online. So I'm sorry for the SP folks, I cannot help you to, to raise funds uh, with printing out the notes. Uh, <laughs> but I think, you know, as we move also uh, into the future, uh, everything is available online, right? So here you have the notes online. You can access them all the time. Uh, here you will see, for example, today we'll talk about uh, uh, the introduction. And here you just can go uh, next, next, next. And you will see uh, all the topics that we're gonna cover in class. Everything that I discuss in class Everything that we go in the homework, it's gonna be discussed there. Everything that goes in the exam too is, is going to be there. Even I have some uh, uh, solved uh, examples that are gonna help you to, to solve the homework as well. And as you can see, at the end of it, every chapter you're gonna find a homework. And this, for example, you have to do on Friday. It's a very short one, but I like that. Uh, you go to those websites and you check them and you see actually with real numbers uh, what is the impact now of uh, uh, shale gas and shale oil. So uh, these notes, let me come back <coughs> over here. Uh, these notes are, are right there. Uh, in addition to that, if you are very into geomechanics, if you cannot stop thinking about it, if you dream about <laughs> it, and you wanna get to know more, I strongly recommend that you <coughs> check this book. Uh, you can buy the book, you can find it online, and uh, that one goes a, a, a little bit more in detail into many aspects of, of geomechanics. The only thing with that book is uh, written in a way which is more like for an advanced <coughs> uh, reader. And my notes are, are a little bit simpler. So I hope that those are going to be like an introduction for you and in the future if you want to get into more details, you can go to this book or to some other literature in order to, uh, to get to know 
uh, more about uh, geomechanics. But everything I discuss in class is going to be in my notes. Um, I gave you the syllabus. If you don't have the syllabus, there are still a few copies over there, so just feel free uh, to grab one. I also have the syllabus, the printed copy, uh, right here. And this is the first draft of the syllabus. Uh, it's not it's going to change all the time, but very likely I'm going to be changing as we move along the class schedule. So for example, uh, yesterday I decided to add a new homework. So, so here I'm going to update that into the, into the notes. We're going to have a new homework, homework number one, okay? Uh, I, I like that you keep this as a reference, uh, especially for, not so much for the class schedule, but for the grades. Uh, I've been in this class for already uh, five years, and I think I never changed the, the grade cutoff. So that's that's very much what you're gonna get. Okay, uh, I don't matter uh, if I have 50% of the class getting an A. If you are above the, that number, you're gonna get an A. And sometimes also, if I have a, I never had a big percentage, but if I do see that, that there are many people that are not working and they're getting a D, you get a D, okay? So um, make sure that, that you uh, are aware of those cutoffs and then you work towards improving your grade. Uh, here also you have important dates. Uh, you have exams and the midterms and the final exam. Uh, we'll talk about the time. I know that <coughs> Friday, 6 p.m. may not be the best time for many of you, uh, but I, I still need a few more days to, to finish a few details, but I might change that time, okay? And, and, and again, you know, if you have any issues, I invite you to, to talk to me so, so we can discuss those uh, ahead of time. But very likely, the meeting is gonna be that day and the, the time is yet to be uh, determined. A few more things uh, just uh, related to organization. <coughs> uh, we talk a little bit about the homework. Homework is due usually one week after it is assigned. So for example, the homework which is supposed to be due on Friday and we're gonna work in class on Friday but you don't have to necessarily finish it that Friday. <coughs> it's going to be due the following Friday. And uh, with the labs, the labs are going to be, you're gonna have to put a, together a lab report. And the lab report is gonna be due uh, either one week or two weeks after. I, I still have to determine that. It depends on the number of labs, but I'll let you know. I expect that you're gonna be here uh, most of the time uh, for attendance, uh, ideally all the time. Uh, lectures are, are very useful uh, for you, I believe, to understand some concepts that sometimes are a little bit difficult to explain just with writing or just with figures. So I'm going to try to do my best to explain especially those hard concepts that are much easier to understand if, if I explain to you uh, face to face. And that's why uh, the, the lectures uh, are going to be uh, very important. Again, I, I'm telling you, I'm uploading all the material that you need online. You can read ahead of time all the material. If at some time uh, you feel that uh, you cannot make it for some reason, uh, please, please let me know. Uh, I'm very good, you know, with remembering faces. So if I don't see your face, you know, I may say, where is Omar? Where is Omar? I can't see Omar. And then, but uh, I, I'm gonna remember if you're not around. And uh, I'm gonna ask you questions uh, during class. And uh, if you cannot make it, just send me an email. Uh, let me know that you're not gonna be here. Also, I'm gonna try to upload all the lectures uh, to YouTube. So if you wanna catch up, you're gonna see them again. Uh, you can see them there. Actually, I have already all the lectures from last semester. 
upload it to YouTube. <coughs> and uh, I have to s check the details of this system. It was not the same computer I was using last semester. So that's why I'm using my GoPro now. And I'll see if the, if the GoPro works well, uh, I'll go with the, with the GoPro. Uh, but if not, I might change uh, here uh, the software I'm using, uh, I might use something else. But I'll try to have all the uh, lectures recorded and uploaded the same day of the lecture. And also for, I, there are two remote students, probably you know them, the one is in Singapore, and the other one, I don't remember where. Uh, but just to you, that you're looking to me in the camera, I'm, tell, I'm telling you that I'm gonna put all the lectures uh, in there. Uh, what else? Uh, attendance, uh, you should be here. If I have time, I try to do this, but you know, I was so busy during the break that I didn't have the time. I'm trying to get some sort of uh, online tool to take attendance and take quizzes using your phone, but I don't want you to pay this other thing, I don't remember the name, right? I don't want you to pay something extra. I'm sure there's something out there that could be used. If you know about something, uh, please uh, let me know, and uh, I'll try to, to implement it. So, uh, we discussed our remote attendance. Uh, of course, uh, no, no copying. I'm very harsh with copying. I'm very harsh with <coughs> plagiarism. Uh, it's been already, uh, three years and a half that, that you're here for most of you. Um, by now you should know that, that copying is no good, plagiarism is no good, and if I catch you, I'll turn you in to the Dean of Students, okay? A few more things. Uh, if you have some special needs, special accommodations for the class, uh, please let me know. Uh, very important we respect each other uh, in the classroom and outside the classroom uh, for some of the work it's okay if you work together in uh, homework it's okay if uh, you work together in reports but it shouldn't be exactly the same the homework the report should be a product of, of your own it's okay to discuss it to others